Hey all, and welcome back for another round of Hellfire Comms Patreon TV Comms. Today we're checking out a bit of classic anime here, Lupin the Third, Part 2, Episodes 1 to 3. Now, listen carefully, because we're watching the dub, but it's a particular dub. I believe. Uh, Flame, who handles getting all the media for us to cover, didn't specify which one it is, but I'm going to take an educated guess and say it's the Foo slash Pioneer slash Gedeon dub, because uh, Daisuke Jigen is voiced, I'm pretty sure, by Richard Epcar in this one, which would make it the uh, the Gedeon, etc. dub. So, just so you know, that's what we're going to be covering here. So, uh, if you need help beyond that, syncing stuff, check the video description. Everything is in there, instruction-wise, and so on. And these are all commissioned by Frozen Traveller, so thank you for the support. Here we go with episode one of Lupin the Third, part two, in three, two, one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I I I like Lupin as as like a meta series. It's it's not something I've I've watched. I'm not like a dedicated fan. I haven't watched like everything. I've I've watched honestly not too much of it. But what I have watched, I really enjoy. And I just like that when when you get to a like a point with a meta series where you just have like <laughs> uh, that's great. You you just have a like you know just us core group of characters that are just so well-defined mm. and likable that you can just slot them in well, uh, I think wherever it, you want. I think this is a lot for the longevity of the series that it's still going. We covered one of the more recent things for a TV com. Let me see here. I believe it was part four. Yeah, Lupin the Third, part four. Yeah. Ah, go Avon on a plane with a sword. Always good. <laughs> nice. Uh, I've uh watched bits and pieces of this one. I've watched the I, I watched I watched a lot of part three when that was on um Adult Swim. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I watched uh quite recently I watched the uh the woman called Fujiko Mine, mm -hmm. which is a uh, which was a uh very uh very dark take uh so uh. With a very particular style. Right, right. Uh, a lot more mature. Actually, uh, that's a good point, because part one, I believe, was much darker, and part two that we're watching here is a bit more light-hearted. Uh, it, you know, it says it right here. In contrast to the dark tone and violence of the first, more serious series, this series made use of a lighter tone and more exaggerated animation to create a crime, a crime caper, even. I can't say worse, yeah. though. Yeah, uh, there's like there's there's like three Lupins. There's uh there's like like you can kind of actually it's almost a thing that like you can usually it's almost it's kind of differentiated by uh the color jacket Lupin wears. Uh -huh. Uh yeah, where you can kind of tell the tone that they're gonna go for. <laughs> cool. Uh, but yeah, like the three there's like there's an image I know that floats around where it's like uh. Hey, uh light-hearted Lupin, where he's a uh, funny monkey guy. He, uh... You know, the real treasure was uh, the friends we made along the way. And then there's, like, the second version of... The second, meet, like, middle tone of Lupin is, hey, uh, funny people, but they do crimes. Also, we acknowledge that the friends we made... The real treasure is the friends we made along the way and also all that shit we stole. Uh -huh. And then there's, uh... The third version which is just surprisingly dark and brutal and everyone's sociopaths but it's still kind of funny yeah i think the one most people would know is red jacket lupin yeah that's jigen sitting on the bed there yeah there's fujiko obviously goemon's the samurai uh zenigara's uh the inspector who uh is obsessed with finding Lupin, and Lupin mm -hmm. is our title character, who's, who's named after a real a real uh, figure called you know, Arsene Lupin uh, mm -hmm. the first, uh, who was a real thief, uh, who did a lot of real thievery, uh, and so right. they made a uh, Lupin the third to be like a master thief character. Well, Ar Arsene Lupin was the gentleman thief. It says here of Maurice LeBlanc's series of novels. Uh, I thought it was a real person. I, 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 oh, no, I'm probably thinking of a different series that, that, that based it off a real person. Mm -hmm. Now, how familiar are you with Richard Epcar's work in Kingdom Hearts? 
uh, he, 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 is he handsome? Uh, he is handsome nowadays, yes. Yeah, I, I, th- I thought it was, uh, wait, he's not in the first Kingdom Hearts? No, that was Billy Zane. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, listen to him here and you can hear it pretty p- plainly. And the darkness, etc. Jigen's great. Jigen is very. F- he, he he's a uh, one. Uh, one of his characteristics is that he's <laughs> he's just he, he's <laughs> they they make they get a lot of jokes out of him just being like a misogynist, basically, and, and, but not in, like the classical sense of like objectifying women. He he just doesn't like women. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he bros out with Lupin all the time, and it's great. Dude, he should do that to a bro's pipe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> comes Fuji Cup. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking piss him off. Yeah. Oh, that voice sounds really familiar. Mm. Uh, in the dub. There was a <laughs> his smile. <laughs> Someone's committed suicide. Oh yeah. Uh, the dub uh, of the woman called Fujikomine was done by uh, which I very much recommend. Uh, it was done by a uh, Funimation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, they had a uh, Sabat voice Jigen. Right. And um, God, what was his? I can't believe I forgot his name. Uh, guy who voices Krillin. Oh, Sonny Strait. Yeah, he voiced Lupin. Cool. You know what? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, he had a good voice for it. Uh, although, uh, he, 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 his voice is kind of inherently uh, more, com- lends itself more towards comedy, which uh, maybe wasn't the best choice for that series. But I don't know, <laughs> Lupin was very, Lupin himself, despite the tone that particular series took, Lupin himself retained the very funny, lighthearted, jokey personality. Uh-huh. Now, like I said, I'm assuming this is the Foo's pioneer getting on dub, but just in case, I'm going to run down the list of who covers them in the uh, the Streamline dub, which was released in 1994. Uh, this one, uh, hopefully, that we're listening to was 2003 to 2007. Uh, Lupin is voiced by Bob Bergen, who did not reprise his role in uh, the 2003 one. He wanted to, but uh, the dub was a non-union project. Uh, Fujiko is E.D. Merman. Daisuke Jigen is Steve Boulin. Uh, Goemon is Steve Kramer. And Zenigata is David Povel. Haven't really heard of any of those. Uh, um, uh, Michelle Ruff here is actually Cream the Rabbit. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, Christina V has, I, th- I think, either voiced Zuchiko now or voiced, or was the previous voice actress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can, I can uh, hear that. Yeah. <laughs> They've got such a. I love this dynamic. This is just the type of anime I would have loved to have watched as a kid. Yeah, uh, I mean. I, I this was my reward for staying up too late and watching Adult Swim. No. Uh, ah. And he got a what a fun guy. He's just he's the Elmer Fudd to Lupin's Bugs Bunny. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn those spindly legs though. I guess it's just the art yeah. style of the whole thing. Kind of a little bit of Popeye in there as well. Yeah, kinda. But yeah, like the four main, uh, the four main guys of the gang of Fujiko, Goemon, Lupin, and Jigen, they just have uh, this great like four person dynamic that you don't see very often in things. Like it's rare to have like a four person dynamic. Yeah, yeah, they usually keep it to three just for simplicity. Three or sake. five. Yeah, three or five. I don't see no words on that piece of paper, mate. Fujiko in particular is kind of like the archetypical like anime femme fatale. Mm-hmm. Like you can like 
she's been a very influential character. Like, uh, if you ever, like, uh, a lot of anime femme fatales and stuff that strikes the tone of, like, say, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, I was just thinking of Faye Valentine, actually. Yeah. Uh, very recently, uh, this, um, anime that came out this year that I super recommend to everyone, uh, called Great Pretender. Oh, yes. Uh, is a lot. Like, if you like Lupin the Third, you'll love that show. I have heard good uh, things. Never watched it myself. Yeah. It's a very, it's a similar sort of, like, caper, uh, thing, series of, uh, it's very, but it's very international. Uh, which is the fun thing, and it comes in like these great. It comes in just four arcs. Uh, they're almost like four disparate miniseries, mm-hmm. uh, and I I really love it. That's gotta be Richard Epcar, because I like close my eyes and listen, and it sounded like uh, the dub voice of old Joseph. It's a bit much, don't you I... think? Just use a gun. <laughs> Go him on doing a flip. Now, what's funny is going on in this dub, again, if we've got the right one, is voiced by Lex Lang, who is a uh, current voice of uh, Neo Cortex in Crash. Oh. Uh, and here we have, again, just showing us the tone that we're going for. We have fucking Dr. Claw, apparently. I'll get you next time, Lupin. Next time. <laughs> He's charming. Uh, Sabat's voice works really well for him, actually. Oh, was uh, Chris yeah, Sabat yeah, yeah. played the role? Yeah, yeah, in the in the Funimation uh, dubs. Okay, uh, the uh, yeah, the woman called Fujiko Mina. He's he's uh, Jigen in that, alongside Sunny Straight is Lupin. The f- oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I mean, it still bit him though, so he's dead. Uh, maybe it wasn't poisonous or venomous. The guy's dead, Neo. I think it is. Uh, his eyes were open. Going on gets the ladies all the time. I was gonna say he's got a bit of an ass on him. Got that cake. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he's also such a nice guy. Like he's, he's so like I, I, like his great joke is just like, just being this like really formal samurai, <laughs> like amongst like a bunch of like you know crude <laughs> low lives. Fucking smooth brains. Yeah. Look, but don't touch, fucker. Lupin and Fujiko's relationship is really fun. Huh. What the fuck kind of cruise ship is this? She's gonna kill the shark, she watch. Uh. (laughs) It's a very classic anime thing to do. Love me a good eye catch. <laughs> my bomb, my precious bomb. Ooh, nice. Whenever I see a ship like this in an anime, I'm just reminded of the SSN episode in a OG Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I heard Cortex very plainly, though. Jigen doesn't like when boy time is interrupted. Hmm. I mean, Jigen has cooties. He he kind of like relax with your bros every so often. Oh. (laughs) 
There you go. No matter what show it is, Goemon Goemon's always just from a different anime. I think that's proper, really. Like yeah. you, you gotta have you have the straight man, you have the fool, the fish out of like temporal war, and the chick. Yeah. Yes, good. Damn, Jigen cleans up well. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, you seen? Uh, have you ever seen uh the trailers for? Uh, no, I mean that CG movie is out. I know, but uh, when the trailers were coming out for it, fucking Jigen in that. Holy shit! I've seen bits and pieces of that. Was that well received? Uh, yeah. Uh, I've, I've heard it's very good. Uh, cool. It cool. looks stunning. I must be thinking of a different... Well, I think I might be thinking of a Studio Ghibli one that was not well-received. Oh. Like a 3D movie that tried to still ape the 2D style, and everyone was like, eh, I don't know about that, bro. Now, the CG movie really went for its own style. Mm. Uh, and it looked wonderful. Studio Ghibli is actually um, familiar with Lupin, isn't, aren't they? Uh, I think think so? I mean, I, I'm sure some animators came over from working on Lupin. I, actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, one of the one of the Lupin movies of the late 70s, early 80s was uh, worked on by Ghibli people. Yeah, the, uh, the Castle sure of Cagliostro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, with fun. Fun uh, trivia. Uh-huh. Uh, that uh, The first localized uh, <laughs> version, first localized Lupin was a, a, a cut of the castle of Cagliostro, uh, <sighs> dubbed and cut apart uh, to make a laser disc video game akin to Dragon. Uh, uh, what's what's it Dragon called? Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Yeah, <laughs> called a uh, cliffhanger. The fuck is this? Is a speed racer? Yes. <laughs> Look out! He's going over that cliff. Rawr! Damn. But yeah, that that FMV game, uh, Cliff, an FMV game called Cliffhanger, that uh, was pretty much the first time we actually got this one, <laughs> even though we didn't know it because it wasn't called that. Hey, you know, whatever gets it into uh, the public consciousness. Goemon's name was just Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have woman, samurai, gangster, and Lupin. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ouch. Oh, no. Seizure warning. Jesus, that was an old school one as well. They did not give a fuck. Yeah. This is before... This is before Pikachu killed all those kids. Who is this guy? Uh... Yeah, if you only know Lupin by reputation, you kind of get caught off guard, I feel, by some of the weird <laughs> science fiction shit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's here's just a man made of metal. That's fine. Okay, yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> hang, on, hang on, let me just do all these. Uh. <laughs> oh, God, oh, fuck. <laughs> It's wacky races time. Hell yeah. Oh, that's who Mr. <laughs> X is voiced by. Derek Stephen Prince. I thought I heard Vexen from Kingdom Hearts. Nice. Nah, I got that weak shit out of here. Yeah. Yeah, going on jobs. <laughs> oh, I see the wharf of the series. Sort of. Yeah, basically. Jigen somewhat, too. Dude, I'm made of metal. Goemon is, uh, 
there's a gif of going on that uh is you might have seen if you've ever seen the post uh a uh, fucking idiot found dead with two bullet wounds. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I've seen <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> you know shit is real when the theme song yeah. starts playing. <laughs> yeah, we weren't trying to hit you, we were trying to escape. Actually, I don't know what Lupin's doing. Oh, he's just taking out the lights. Yeah. How do you like that? We wrecked your car. Oh, they're trying to rust him. Yes. Ah, why didn't I pick a metal that doesn't corrode? Oh, they're probably going to electrocute it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. But wait, I conduct electricity! <laughs> this is bullshit. Did did Lupin just kill a guy? All the time. Oh. I, I mean, like... <laughs> there's, there's a lot of murder. In <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's just a matter of how, whether or not they draw attention to it. Oh, here we go. Um, let's see. Lupin typically wears a button-down shirt, tie, chinos, and a brightly colored sports jacket, exclusively red in the manga, while in animation his jackets are various colors which color code his TV series. Yeah. Green They're for part blue, red, one. And yellow. I green believe. for part oh, one. Green. A few okay. OVAs and the woman called Fujiko Mine. Uh, red for part two and most films and television specials. Pink for part three. Blue for part four and part five. And in some images, Lupin is depicted as being cross-eyed, but that might just be an artistic flourish. Oh, has he never worn yellow? Okay. <clears throat> I got my face. How dare you bring fake news to these yeah. commentaries? Disgraceful. <laughs> I'll spit on you. Yeah. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Not till the fish jumps. This is how the fucking SSN episode pretty much ends as well. <laughs> like, they think Jesse and James are dead, so they're like, oh, we will pray for them. Fujiko, why are you dipping your legs in the water? I don't know. He's fine. God, Lupin's uh, head was kind of doing some crazy undulation back there. Fuji Cole's just not contributing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Well, I think turtles are slightly faster than tortoises, but... Uh... What a fun animal. It is so fun. Even the really dark shit is really fun. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what the ED's like. Oh, is this the next time? Uh, yeah, thing? it's the next time on. Oh, yeah. well, well, I'll close that down. The, I've never seen a next time thing before the credits before. How dare you attempt to fool us? <laughs> so yeah, we had a, a nice heist or whatever aboard a liner, and there's Mr. X who turned to metal. Uh, probably... Should have fought ahead on that one. And just a lot of wacky antics and whatnot. So a good start to Lupin the Third Part 2. Anything to add before we move on? Uh, no, not really. It's just, it's just fun. Well, thanks for the wind-up with the big, uh, and then adding nothing, Neo. Yes. 
<laughs> That's how you know it's a Neo Cocom. Alright, here we go. Episode 2 in 3, 2, 1. Uh. I don't like the. You point the gun and you shoot at a friend, Lupon. <laughs> point the gun and shoot at the, shoot at the viewer. It's a show of disrespect. <laughs> James Bond, every time he does it, I swear to God. You know, it's funny, because like, these more lighthearted series tend to have. <laughs> they always have these gags of, like, uh, Lupon wants to fuck Fujiko, and Fujiko's like, haha, cock block. Uh. But, like, most of the time, Fujiko's explicitly DTF. Sorry, I just had to take a moment to register you saying DTF, which is not something I ever imagined coming out of your mouth. But, no, I get it. I get I, it. How, it's not out of character. <laughs> Gotta make sure I stick to the script and whatnot. <laughs> See, so yeah, there's only guys fun, but he didn't really have much agency in the first episode. I hope he has more in this one. Yeah. Well, you know, he's never really going to be the main antagonist of an episode. Is he kind of more like just the fly in the ointment or whatnot? Yeah. He's, 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 he's the funny uh, guy. He's, he, he pushes him. You know, he can be in an inciting incident. Okay. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's too funny to be, like, any kind of threat. You know he's never gonna win. He's That's just a character. villain who, like, helps the hero out sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Down, boy. It's Jesus? Yeah. That's one of the things I like about Lupin. That, uh, again, I like elderly love about Great Pretender. That made me remind, reminded me of it. It's, uh, it's very international. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go to a lot of fun locales. Well, the lobe trotters. I did say it was more of a crime cape at this part. Yeah. Also, I'm a big fan of like just going back to the jackets. How you can tell what series you're watching just yeah. by the the color of his jacket. That is a good bit of character design. Yeah. Uh, in the woman called Fujiko Mine, uh, there's an episode where uh, Goemon is on top of a speeding jet plane, and uh, cuts a missile in half. Okay. And it's uh, one of the most serious, darkest uh, series in the series. Which should tell you. <laughs> so what you're saying is, a lot. even the most serious of Lupin isn't afraid to go pants on head stupid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They they, they get together and they stop World War III. It's, <laughs> it's fun. And it's not like a main plot or anything. It's, it, it's, it's a one-off. Just oh. something that happened. Lupin <laughs> knows how to have fun. Bonds, guns, and fun in the sun. Yes. It's Rio. It's the summer. I mean, that, that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. Nice driving, jackass. Oh, come on. Pretty sure you're not meant to be. Are you going to steal the Jesus? Yes. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, appreciate you calling it that because you don't know what the actual <laughs> <of his> statue is. <laughs> Look, all right. Just because you're right doesn't mean you have to be demeaning about it. It's called Christ the Redeemer. Okay, that's way cooler than what I said. <laughs> the Jesus. <laughs> the Jesus. <laughs> the Jesus. <laughs> Big Lebowski. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Jesus. Oh. Are they calling a ambulance for the Jesus? Uh, he's been hurt. Hmm. Gotta get the Pope down here. Stat. He's not gonna like this. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> He's been pranked. Well, no, I think his life is just one big prank. <laughs> I 
Well, okay, I'm glad they at least... Is that fucking Pele? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Uh, you can't... Pl- it's Rio de Janeiro. If there's soccer happening, you have to just expect it's any got it. You're from the Japan. Way- you guys love soccer, too. Come on. Oh, yeah. Uh, soccer and baseball, primarily, I think. Yeah. I can't believe I got you to call it soccer. That's awesome. I don't really care. Like I call it football, <laughs> but, you know, I yeah, work yeah, with yeah. Americans on a daily basis, so... Oh, uh, have you? I wonder how embarrassing it is if a British person talks to enough Americans if they start calling it soccer in, in everyday parlance. You know, I've actually done that a few times with Flame and Richie. Obviously, all three what? of us are English, so. It's just interesting how language works, right. really. There's this great um, Poland ball comic uh, where uh, Canada is talking to. Uh, UK and a bunch of other European nations about how it's nothing like the other American countries and, you know, we got so much in common. We got more in common with you than the US and then uh, he accidentally and then he and then he just offhandedly calls football soccer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and just everyone. Alert. Uh. Huh. So yeah, Zenigata is a uh, Japanese policeman, and uh, he's uh, he sort of gets the globe trot because he's the Lupin guy. Right. He's just Lupin's designated police person. <laughs> Why am I getting the fear they don't like Zenigar much? Uh, no, they they do. Lupin loves him. Lupin thinks he's great. Well, no, I mean Lupin clearly likes him. I'm talking about the people Zenigar works for. Uh, yeah, he's sort of the butt of the joke sometimes. Okay, uh, yeah. Again, it depends on the series. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he cut, even when you go in there to gloat, Lupin just makes, just turns it around on you. There you go. So, Fujiko's probably in disguise. Somewhere. It's like, where's Waldo? <laughs> You're sitting in the background. Yeah. Yeah, this is a real long shot, but if any of you guys want to commission the Where's Wally TV show, be my guest. Where's Wally? You know what I fucking said. I didn't stutter. <laughs> fucking Where's Waldo? Get out of here. I mean, it beats paying for a hotel. Zenigata is also a very fun character archetype. Uh, The inspector who's, like, obsessed with a specific, like, criminal who keeps getting away. Yeah. Uh, I I think you would... uh, What is it? Uh... I forget what I'm trying to think of a character that very exemplifies that early on. Maybe Inspector Clouseau. Hmm, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. That was a very funny joke. Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> I own it. It's my city. Yes. Morse code. You know, I figured that out for myself, dear, fully enough. (laughs) Ah, wonderful. Ah, this is really clever, actually. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I I don't know how Morse code would like. So, are they doing Morse code in Japanese? I wonder if there's a different version of Morse code that corresponds to. Uh, corresponds to different ca- uh letters and no different alphabets. Oh, like uh, Hiragana, Katakana. Yeah. yeah. 
because I actually wouldn't know how that would work if I'm not, if they, if they weren't doing it. Well, we're, we're here to talk over anime, not to fucking give <laughs> a, a linguistics lesson. Yeah, yeah. Walking dot Jeff. He's always thinking about him. Mm. Just <laughs> based. Got him. It is time for football. And see a bit of footy. I can already see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, are they the laundry? This is classic Are prison, they the bags? Classic prison break fair is what this is. There it comes. There, there she, it is. she is. Yep. It's a good thing her face isn't absolutely everywhere. <laughs> yeah, she can kind of slip under the radar. Says, God forbid if she has to take a disguise that isn't sexy. God forbid. You know, I was really worried for a second that she was going to be the dancer girl. Oh, in blackface? Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, my faith in Lupin rewarded me. Yes. Exciting, pushing action. Yes. I I'd like to imagine that she's not even here to rescue them. She's here for some completely different heist. <laughs> no, I'm actually just here taking a new job, really. Yeah. yeah I went clean. <laughs> yeah, trotting around the world doing all these heights is fun and all, but I always wanted to be a laundry chick in a prison somewhere. So I've heard crazier things. Thank you. Now someone needs to tell these guards that like you you don't need to look at the radio. Mm. Sometimes it helps you visualize the match better. Get in a view. <laughs> but mm. soccer! <laughs> Sexual harassment is bad, but missing soccer is worse. Okay, back to this. Yeah. It's not actually do, a, do our job. Let a woman with a slap fix it. <laughs> Chocolate and cigarettes, Jesus. Well, he did put his hand on her ass mm. and had to be fought off, and then he covered the camera, but we've seen that she can slap him. Mm. It's fine. Yeah, there are like three guys in the room, but <laughs> <laughs> she'll be fine. Ah, I see. Yes. Good job you brought the fucking TARDIS here, apparently. <laughs> Uh, there is there is not enough room on that cart for all three of them. They're they're just lying very flat. <laughs> I guess. It's gonna be real awkward when they take dinner into them. No, this is possible. Uh, I've seen Penn and Teller do it. Okay. Where were Penn and Teller in prison? Uh, you know. You'd be surprised. I mean, those, those, they're hardcore libertarians. They, uh... Who knows what they've done. Indeed. Yeah. 
There we go. Nice. Yes. Gold, go, 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 go. I remember the first time I, I, I was told that, hey, yeah, in soccer, it's not just, you don't just have to use your your feet. You, you just have to not use your hands. And that, ah. uh, that's what I learned. Oh, they do the chest bumps and the head butts. And I just always wanted to try that. Yeah, your third eye opened that day. Yeah. Just never use your legs. <laughs> Okay, it's all coming together now. It's a good thing they kept Jigen's gun and Goemon's sword under such light security. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, a bit... Okay. That <laughs> hole was not that big from the other side. <laughs> And he made it with two uh, cross slashes, apparently. I made a Damn. circular hole. Well, I can't draw a perfect circle, and fucking <laughs> samurai over here can cut a perfect one. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing he went to the circle, because at first I just saw him, like, after the other takeouts, he draws out his sword, and I'm just like, wait, going on, this, this, this show is not... For <laughs> Keep it PG. Huh. Oh man! Whenever Lupin's allowed to be like mature, uh, all bets are off for Goemon. Hmm. They 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 don't they they, they don't gotta have him uh, just not use his sword on people. Hmm. The movie Goemon Ishikawa's Spray of Blood is primo. Oh, I assume there's a number of um, OVAs and movies then. Uh yeah uh. They tend to, like, follow up. They tend to, like, be sort of connected to, like, specific series that were ongoing at the time. Right. Uh, going on to a Spray of Blood uh, is one of, I think, four that followed up uh, the woman called Fujiko Mine. Right. And uh, the title is very accurate. It's a lot of blood. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd be sad if there wasn't. No, I've been bamboozled again. And I've been hornswoggled. I don't know why international police are deferring to a local cop from Japan, but hey. Yeah. <laughs> Smug. That's well, a good job that car has no plates from what I can see there. Maybe they just didn't want to draw them. Mm. Ah, maybe the Jesus is what we need. I know it's Christ the Redeemer, Jesus. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this seems a bit too perfect. Yeah. So hand it to Zedigata, you know, he is... Right now, the smartest guy in the room. Yeah. Some fancy detective boy, though. Yes.
Oh, bloody hell. Get down immediately. You are not allowed on Jesus. Maybe Young Buddha. Young man. <laughs> Odin, maybe, but Jesus, no. Oh, my God. Yes. Mind the Jesus now. Yeah, to say this came out in the late 70s, the animation isn't too bad. Yeah. I've, I've seen worse. Ah, thank God Jesus made my butt so fat. Yeah. Jesus the Christ. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, they'll totally just shoot down the two will just shoot down the helicopter that's carrying Christ the Redeemer. I don't okay. give a shit if that thing just falls just falls to the ground and cracks apart. Well it'll, fi it'll fix itself, it's Jesus after all. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> oh. Oh no. They're fine. they're fine. I didn't see any parachutes in the eye. I don't think they're fine. <laughs> so who's gonna buy that? Who's willing to to pay? Um Jesus. He's shitting out all that yeah. money. Think that one through. God? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that, that's too much even for me. Christ, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Christ the Redeemer is alive. I think I just got red pilled a little bit. <laughs> All right, again, you put the yep. things at the start, so I can't watch them. How sad! I'll check the ED on my own after this. That was a pretty fun episode, even if I didn't really catch the inciting incident because I was off looking at the wiki and whatnot. They stole FIFA's profit. That's all you got to know. You got it, mate. You got it. So yeah, two pretty solid episodes so far, and uh, since I usually judge anime with the first three episodes. Let's hope we can go for a hat trick here. You about ready? I am. Alright, here we go. Last one of this batch. Episode three of Lupin the Third Part Two in three two one. Hammer off. It's just so catchy. Yeah. Kind of common San Diego vibes. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like that's just this. The, this is just the music you play for globe trotting. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be bouncy. Jesus Christ, Jigen! You just murdered like a bunch <laughs> of guys. <laughs> it's okay if the good guys do it. Uh, I'd call them more anti-heroes than anything else. Yeah. Samurai. I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's a reference. <laughs> It's either something that happened in the first series, or maybe it's a reference <laughs> to a Joker and Batman surfing in that one episode. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. 
Like, uh, Lupin strikes me as the type of franchise which would have fun with that. Also, the wiki did say uh, Part 2 notably has a lot of pop culture references. Hmm. Okay. Are we just kind of starting in media res here, or...? Uh, it's Ness. Halloween episode. Yep. <laughs> there there she we're, is. We're starting strong with this one, Neo. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's nice France. That was a bit of a rough pound there, but I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> Jigen's a king. Don't be simping now. Watch out. Yeah. For Buddha's sake. (laughs) For Buddha's sake. Oh, what are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> also, why is she in Scotland when the rest of them were at whatever? Well, she's not, you know, they go their separate, like, they have their separate gigs. Okay. Yeah, Fujiko likes to work alone for the most part and just sort of winds up with these guys. Okay, that's fair. Also, you're kind of breathing a bit hard into your mic, but... Oh, excuse me for getting excited. No, can you stop doing that? Because it's peaking a lot. I, 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 I will breathe elsewhere. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I thought there was going to be someone on the wing for a second. <laughs> Twilight Zone? <laughs> like, Zeddy guys, like, I ain't letting you get away! How did you get the funding for this, Zeddy guy? It's fucking cloud shoes is what it is. <laughs> I've just enjoyed my <laughs> flight as well. I like how he calls him Pops. <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah. Why wouldn't you wait where he's, like, going and then capture him like that? No, you had to let him know that you were going to be there. Okay. Yes, bye. Uh, what what do you think is the ratio between actually British voice actors and Americans just playing British? Uh, I'm gonna say it's a very. I I, I, I the other number doesn't exist. Fair enough. <laughs> At least they're not fucking yeah. dead this time. If only you knew that Lupin had a propensity for disguises. <laughs> like they're just him in different clothes, really, more so than actually disguises. Well, they had those rubber faces on in the last episode. But I guess they figure it's not worth the effort with Zenigata. You really should have handcuffed us to you, rather than us to each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have legs. <laughs> oh, God, I always forget that. Uh, j- just two bros chilling in a kayak. Just having a 40, you know. Oh, I see, because they're yeah. in Scotland. Uh, 
Oh, Jigen's such a dick. He's up there for me as a character. Yeah. He just wants to bro out. He doesn't want cooties getting in the way. You can fuck off, mate. <laughs> Mine is bigger because of the penis, you see. Who fucking needs a speedboat? Just couch your food, you go. I'm not a fucking sniper, all right. <laughs> I have a revolver, not a rifle. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> Where's Simping Samurai when you hard. need him? Uh, he's... <laughs> did we see him on the plane? Actually? I don't know. Did he, just, did he just decide not to come along? Oh. <laughs> I, I saw Jigen, I saw Lupin, and then I stopped paying attention. Yeah, just going on was just like, all right, you go to Scotland. I like Fujiko, but not enough to go to Scotland. Mm -hmm. I bet Nessie is like a robot or something. See, there it is. It's a mystery only Professor Leighton himself could figure out. Dude, you were drinking in the middle of the day. <laughs> You're yeah, gonna have a headache no matter what. All things considered, you no know, Jigen's taking it pretty well. He looks like a Bond villain. Lake Ness. I mean, I could have told him that, honestly. Yeah. Too bad you weren't born at the time when they were writing this script. So, no, Nessie's real. Okay, well, oof. Yeah. Again, you, 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 you never expect it, Lupin, to be... To, to play so loose with reality, but... Well, I no. mean, in the last episode, we had Talking Jesus statue, so... Yeah, Talking Jesus statue, you know, Robot Man in the first episode. Fucking... There's always gonna be some wacky shit. There's one movie where, like, the one of, like, the there's, like, an assassin with fucking, like, particle dust magic. Mm. Oh, right. Yes. Why don't you just carry a knife? <laughs> it's more intimidating <laughs> if you rip your own leg off to stab someone with it. Yeah, to be fair, if a dude was like, hang on... <laughs> and, like, turned it into a rifle, I would be intimidated. You see, most people yeah, most people will just go for, like, hook hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna foot. stab you, I'm just going to make the very annoying noise. <laughs> it's working. Thankfully, I'm partially deaf. <laughs> 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 kind of backfired on him.
Oh. <laughs> They're currently very <laughs> cozy, Doctor. Very cozy and comfortable. Those beds have been pushed together. Mm. That's okay. I support that sort of lifestyle. I'm evil, not homophobic. One of their deaths would mean something to me. Yeah. (laughs) So he wants control of Nessie because he controls everything around here. Mm -hmm. And I guess he just wants to complete the collection. Mm. Okay, going on is here. Yeah. They oh, what an entrance. Yeah. I didn't want to come on the plane. I just stood on top of it. <laughs> I wonder if we go back and look if he's there or not. <laughs> Dude, get your fucking finger off the walkie-talkie. Oh, man, it's a good job he held it down, Lila. Yeah, and Fujiko just took advantage of it. How do you have control of this entire area? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone is just very ineffectual here. Maybe no one else cares enough to want to control the area around Loch Ness. That sounds about right. It's Mecha Nessie! Fucking Lupin. Why they have to come in a group? This ain't fair. Oh, is the clan attacking or something? It's more like the Heartless, really. Oh! <laughs> Not as good as me, but... <laughs> yeah, real recognizes real, Lupin. <laughs> Got him! Don't have, you don't have to show off, Goemon. Well, let's see whether I'll get hit by rocks, mate. It could just duck. Ridiculous. Rare episode where it's Lupin getting most of the abuse. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) That is a great screenshot. Yeah. Now, if I was Fujiko, where would I be? Hopefully in my bed, says Lupin. Yeah. If I were a damsel, where would I be in distress? I'm going on. Hey, boop, dop, dop, dop. I think I'm gonna take offense if this happens again. <laughs> Is that, uh. They're supposed to be in Scotland. Is that the Scottish? I don't think that's the Scottish. Ach, Ach no, no, Scottish would be a little more like this, isn't it? That's not Scottish. Yeah. Fuck off, Tom. Oh, boy. That's not a humane way to transport a prisoner. I don't think he cares. Oh my god. Dick. (laughs) 
You no, couldn't I... just wait. Y- y- why did you wait for him to fire it? You could have just like cut up the gun. That's not and cool. Then you though. Gotta show off. It's not cool. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> back to plot. Jigen. You have to lead him on. I love it. Jigen <laughs> yeah, sees Fujiko in the mouth and just decides, no, I need to fuck with him. <laughs> well, I mean, you'd have to, really. Oh, my... J- Mecha Nessie. Mecha Vore. Oh, no, not me too. Yes, I fought them all successfully. Womp womp. Hello. Wow. Ouch. Okay, yeah, now he's fired up. Resting on tits made me awake. Yeah, he was just fine. He just wanted Fujiko lap pillow to last longer. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, if Nessie ends up boning the ship to death... <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the tits, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. <laughs> uh oh. Upon your lungs. <laughs> kind of impressive that you can do that all. <laughs> this episode is fucking stupid. Her voice is okay. I won't call it amazing. Well, it's a- Nessie likes it. Nah, fuck this. <laughs> Hmm. Is this a two-parter? Uh... And that's the best way to transport a sea monster. Why did you even call Nessie if you could have just gotten out of the water however you managed to? Mm Mm-hmm. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Go away, mom. <laughs> the, was were there not enough like wetsuits, or did he decline to wear one? I think he just likes being almost nude a lot of the time. <laughs> Oh, remix. Get the weak shit out of here. <laughs> now I am freed from the confines of the landlocked Loch oh, Ness. Now you're all fucked. <laughs> Onward to the Atlantic. <laughs> You can stop now, it's fine. It's got very good hearing, she won't sing in that loud. Yeah. It's a good thing it doesn't have a projectile breath attack. It is. Or it might have gotten angry at us. You know what, let's watch the next time thing, because I think I would like to see the ED after all. Gotcha. Ooh, they're getting Nazi gold next time. Nice. There we go. I will say, when we've been watching these episodes, there have been some, like, weird freezes that don't really, like, freeze the video itself. They're just part of the thing we've received. Yeah, yeah, it's just a little error. I eh. think. As long as it doesn't desync stuff, that's fine. Yeah. Shinzo Kato. Right. Fujiko staring uh, wistfully yeah. at, the, uh, at the sunset. Maybe, maybe don't drive on the beach next time. So this is like a bit of a bumpy ride. Well, maybe bumpy is how she likes it. Maybe it is now. Very nice. Very nice. So yeah, that was episodes one to three of the Loop in the Third Part Two dub. I enjoyed that a lot, actually. Yeah, that was a uh, very fun. Those uh, I. Just those characters are really fun to be around. They've got they all bounce off each other really well. Jigen's got great zingers, uh, and it's very wacky. Indeed, it is, mate. And we have a lot more of part two coming up, actually. Nice. So thank you, a frozen traveler, for continuing to commission this. And uh, if you guys want your own Patreon TV comms, hit up patreon.com forward slash hellfire comms. Every penny helps to support the group, and you can get some TV or movie comms of your choice. See you next time for more of the same. Bye-bye.